The opinions expressed in this show do not reflect the views of WBND Studios or any associated affiliates. Coming to you from a biblical perspective, we are hoping and praying that we can help you to know God and to know Jesus in a more intimate way. You are listening to the Tabernacle Trinity Hall Show. WBND Radio. Radio. Welcome to WBND Radio. 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 Tabernacle Trinity Hall. WBND Radio. Listen. Every Monday at 6.30 p.m. Tune in every Monday. Tabernacle Trinity Hall Show. Every Monday, 6.30 p.m. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. And good night. We thank you for joining us here on Tabernacle Trinity Hall Show, where I'm your host, James and Pamela Harold, and our producer, Moses Blue. May Hello. God be with you guys. Praise God. Baby, how's your day today? It was good. It was busy. I had some things I got completed today, so it made me feel good. How Amen. about you? I guess whenever you finish doing something, you feel like you accomplished something that you just feel good about mm -hmm. doing that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get so bombarded, it's like, Wow, it's like right when I need to focus on one thing, that everything else begin to come. And I feel like I'm being overwhelmed, mm -hmm. and I got to find myself pushing through that mm -hmm. anyhow. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it feels like it's so overcrowded sometimes that it's like, wow, you know, you don't have enough time in the day. You don't feel like, you know, that you have enough time in the day. The day is caving in on you. But I'm just, you know, I, I, I'm great. I don't know how I got on that, 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 that <laughs> conversation, but um, it just feels good, yes, uh, when you know that you had completed something. So I got to close, like, two projects today, and one Congrats. is still open because I got to wait for a response and mm -hmm. everything. Amen. So anyhow, Moses, how your day been, sir? Listen, my day is going as good as it going to get. My Amen. sinuses is still acting up. Um, but you know what? Glory to God, I'm able to get out the bed finally. <laughs> So that's good. Um, but other than that, you know what? I cannot complain. Nobody listens. So I want to give a sob story. All I can say is how good God has been, and um, he's going to continue to do what he does. Well, look, if you got to complain, let me know. I'll listen to you because I have to pray for you. So I got to listen to you. Okay, so <laughs> but like you say, ain't no need to complain because no ain't nobody listening. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, turn in your Bible to James 1, 5. Guys, we're going to talk about what is of God. We're still talking about <coughs> learning to listen to God. But what we're talking about, we, we're doing subtopics, amen? Mm -hmm. So our subtopic, is, um, our subtopic is that we are talking about what is of God. All of this is pertaining to listening to, to God, okay? Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's what we're doing. And I'm I'm trying to mess with this uh, Facebook thing. Uh, share. What's up, brother Hunter? How's it going, Rob? I see you. Hey, Amen. So, baby, go ahead on and um read. Uh, you say you see um who Rod who? Uh, brother Rod. Okay. Um, let me see something. Guys, give me a minute. You know you know how we are by now. You know the flow. Praise the Lord and everything. Hey, you guys. Um. You can contact us at, at Tabernacle Trinity Hall at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Anybody know about Yahoo? I used to be able to send videos through Yahoo, but now I'm having issues sending videos through Yahoo. It's like. You trying to send a link or you yeah, trying to send the actual video? The, the um, attachment. Oh. As an attachment. Because I, I used to be able to send attachments, mm -hmm. and I'm not able to send the attachments anymore. I'm like, you know, what's hey, what's going on here, you know? Yeah. And um, so, you know, I don't really know what's going on with that yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. And What's going on, Travis? And I really... Bobby Ray, what's on, man? Hey, man. Oh, the phone number? Oh. Uh, Get the phone number. The phone eight zero number three is six nine two six three seven zero. Again, it's eight zero three six nine two six three seven zero. If you are tuning in on Facebook Live, it'll be on the screen for those of you that are tuning in. WBND Radio, WBND Radio app. The phone lines open eight zero three six nine two six three seven zero. Ocho zero three six nueve dos seis tres siete zero. Amen. 
Amen. So call us, guys. Join us. Have questions. Have something to share. Call. Don't be afraid to pick up that telephone Amen. and call. And share on Facebook. Don't just look at us and then yeah, hit, hit that hit, hit the friendly little, the little like button, button, the thumbs up button. Let us know. We see that you are there, guys. Amen. You know, but you know, it's it's it, just support us and share these things because the word of God is for all of us to share. Like I say, mm-hmm. I always say this. You guys always hear me. We are not perfect. We are just here. Uh, as teachers and students, as you are listening as students and teachers. So we are all learning together. Amen. 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 And if this you is have a family oh, conversation. Amen. And if you have the app, the phone number you can dial straight from the app, it'll take you right into the studio. Amen. And you go to our, our Google Google Store, mm-hmm. you can download the WBND app, or you can go to um Apple mm-hmm. store and you can download the WBND app. Amen. Amen. Let somebody know. Tell people about this, guys, because you know this is. I'm, we're not doing this for for fame. Amen. You know, we're not working for God for fame. We're working for God, yes, to build up treasures in heaven. But we're working for God because we love Him and to be and, a blessing. Listen, Amen. And we have the responsibility of the ministry of reconciliation. Amen. Amen. So we're going to say things that you may agree with. I'm going to say things that. My two friends, my two family members right here are blue, and my wife may not even agree with, and vice versa. But that's what life is about, is coming together in conversation, knowing how to disagree, Mm -hmm. talking through conversations, talking about the things that are of God, the things that we are experiencing. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? All three of us have different experiences. That's right. So, you know what? We said a long time ago, there's no right and wrong in God. Mm. But there is a there is a good and there is a evil. Mm. But there's no right and wrong in God. As long as you are in God, then whatever you are doing is by the grace of God and the blood of Jesus is covering up that thing. That's why I say count of pure joy when you go through diverse temptations, when you are in your sin and stuff. Because it's nothing you can do or I can do to save myself. Mm. We cannot save ourselves no matter how hard we try. We can't do it. We can't do it. It's only because of the blood of Jesus Amen. that saves us. And that's what our faith is being about. That's why we count a pure joy. Mm-hmm. Not for nothing else, but because we know that God got us and God, Jesus said, whoever God my Father sent to me, I will not lose none except one. That was the son of prediction. That was the son of prediction. Mm-hmm. And, 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 but if he belonged to, if he belonged to Christ, Christ wouldn't have lost him either. Listen. Amen. And I always tell uh, anybody that I meet, I said, we all need a paint job. You know, because sometimes we get some stains from from this world or sometimes we go through some things in life, but there's nothing that the blood can't cover. And as long as you allow that fresh paint of the blood coming across you, you'll be just fine. And guys, we want to talk about what constitutes a genuine Christian, Mm. because when I was coming up in Christ, I had questions like, uh, what saved, always saved? Is that so? And I heard yes, and I heard no. Then I heard people say, well, if you truly say, you're saved. Then I heard people say, if you truly say, then a change should come about. And I accept that. And then I would hear, then I would see things like people of great caliper in, 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 in the gospel. And they would, you know, start messing around with other women or with other men. And I said, well, does that mean that they was never saved? Mm. You know, so we're going to talk about stuff like that because these are questions that are on babes in Christ's minds. And I'm going to tell you something else. Some of us who are mature, still looking for answers that we was looking for when we was a baby in Christ. So we're going to bring that stuff up. We're going to talk about that stuff. Y'all just hang in there with us, and we're going to we're going to get on all that stuff. We're going to love talking about this stuff because we love God. But today, we are talking about listening, learning to listen to God's voice, learning to listen to God. But the topic is what is of God. Amen. That's part of knowing what God's voice is. Hey, it's knowing what is of God. So Pam, she's going to read James 1 and 5 
And um, I'm going to read a scripture afterwards. And another scripture is Galatians 5, 16. We don't ask our producer to do anything because he already got his hands full. Listen. Amen. I know he would, but he already got his hands full. Um, but go ahead, baby doll. James 1, 5. If any of you lack wisdom, mm. let him ask of God. Come on. Who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. Amen. He said, if any of you mm. ask of God, read that again, baby doll, please. Mm, like a second wisdom, time. Listen. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. Amen. <laughs> so what does that tell me? That tells me, okay, we're, we're, what is the topic? We're learning to listen to God. What is Amen? of God, uh-huh. Right. So we're also trying to figure out well, what is of God, because that's a, that's a part of learning to listen mm -hmm. to God. So how can I learn, learn to listen to God? Well, i got to now know what is of God. But how can I know the things that are of God? Well, as my wife read the scripture, it said that we can go to God and we can ask God. God, show me who you are. Mm. And God will begin to show you who he is. Right. And he can show you through who he is through whatever circumstance that you're in. Or he can show you through a testimony of somebody else that has experienced him. Or he can show you himself through his word. Amen. And we talked about that. Moses talked about the, I think he said five. I know I have five. I think he had seven things. Mm -hmm. But we say, how do we, how do we, how do God talk to us, speaks to us? My wife name is the prayer, mm -hmm. circumstance, experiences, your experiences, somebody else's experiences, through scriptures, and through just general conversation. Amen. Amen. And so right now we are learning that, you guys just learned what my wife read um, at, <coughs> excuse me, James 1 and 5, that if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. How many of you didn't know that? Listen. How many of you didn't know I can go to God and ask God to reveal himself to me? I heard somebody say today, as a matter of fact, I was listening to um, 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 uh, uh, another show, and a good point was made up that, you know what? I'm called to the ministry of reconciliation, but, you know, God is God who sends me to the Son. Mm. If God don't send me to the Son, mm -hmm. I can't go through the Son to get back to God. Mm. If God don't introduce himself to me, mm -hmm. then I cannot become familiar with who Jesus is. Mm. So if I'm talking to an atheist, and the atheist, he just held his his quirks, you know, mm -hmm. why he believed what he believed. Yes. And I have had an opportunity to speak with um, people who was atheists. And you know what? They have great interest mm. in wanting to find out why something is what it is. But here's the thing. If God don't introduce himself to that atheist, but then the only thing I can do is share with that atheist what I know about God. Mm hmm but see, here's the thing. You heard us say, don't go across the street over there unless the Holy Spirit been over there. And how do you know if the Holy Spirit already been over there? Because then the Holy Spirit will come back and put something in you mm -hmm. to lead you to go over there. Yeah. But you don't want to go ahead of the Holy Spirit. That's why you got to learn God's voice. Because dog have teeth will bite. Mm. And if you go over there and the Holy Spirit haven't sent you over there, you're heading for something that you might not want to be heading for. Amen? So you guys got to help me stay on thought because sometimes I get to talking well, come on, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I lose my point. Amen? Well, well I will <laughs> say that how I got started in getting to know who God is because when I was, um, was brought up in church, I was brought up that Jesus saved. But Amen. That was it. I didn't know that building the relationship was what he really wanted. Mm. He's not only save us, but that's not that's not only reason why he died on that cross. Yeah. He want a relationship. He want that relationship back with us. And so you you learn from each other. And so I learned from somebody in Psalms one nineteen, God says, Open David was saying to God, Open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your law. 
And that really got me into studying the word. Mm. Amen. Amen. Because David said just that. Yes. And so the Holy Spirit, of course, like works differently. Mm-hmm. But that's how y'all I always tell started. me about hitting stuff. I know, and I hit it. I'm sad, that, but you know what? That's beautiful. <laughs> and see, Pam would not have known that mm. if she wasn't in a place to study the Word of God in the first place. Listen, and I also want to add to what what, what you said earlier um, about. If anyone lacks wisdom, ask God. And it brought me to Philippians 4. Um, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. See, when we allow God to supply all of our needs and make sure that we give him the the thanks for it, uh, he will surpass all all of our understanding that we will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So in Christ, we can do all things. In Christ, he will supply all of our needs. So I'm glad you made that point because if we lack anything, you can go anywhere, but when you go to God in prayer and God will answer those prayers, it may not come at the time you want it, but there's an expectation on your life anyway. So when you make those requests, God will meet those needs when your heart and your mind's in the right place. Amen. And that's 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 so beautiful because when he was talking, my mind went to something, um, and he was saying something about um, Christ. It was um, Christ, and I was thinking, um, what was it, Lord? When you, when we go to Christ, when we go to God, um, because it, it 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 actually reminded me why you're thinking yeah. of when when David made his request, he yeah. asked for wisdom. And God said, because you asked, you didn't ask for money. You didn't ask for fancy things. You Solomon. asked for wisdom. Yeah, Solomon. Sorry. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and he granted his request and then some. So when we have our hearts and minds in the right place, when we go before God, he'll meet our needs. Amen. You know, uh, Jesus, he'll talk to us and God will send us uh, to Jesus. Listen. But asking, we ask God for something, right? And where I say, uh, 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 if, if you ask God in the name of Jesus, whatever you ask God, whatever ask God whatever your will is in the name of Jesus, and it shall be given to you. And, you know, everything that we ask is not given to us. Some things we're not, we're not ready for it. And exactly. you know what? We ask for things sometimes. I remember when my kid, I wouldn't use this example, when my kid, uh, before we eat, he wants a slice of cake. Yeah. But yet he hasn't eaten supper yet. Now, as a dad, I'm saying you can't have it. He thinking, well, why can't I have it? But you got to understand what you're asking for in a certain time. So sometimes we get in a certain season of our lives and we're asking God for something that we can't handle in this particular season because he has a us going through a certain process that he knows if he give it to you in this season you're going to squander it. Amen. And here's another thing guys it's a scripture before that. See sometimes what we want to do we want to tell in mm. of the scriptures. Hey, we me. want the blessing out of the scriptures. But we don't want the part where we have to work and do the input to earn the tell in of the scriptures. Uh, resist the devil and he shall flee from you. You got to do something in order for Satan to flee from you. Ask whatever you will, and it shall be given to you. Mm. But before then, they say, if you abide in me, go ahead, Pam. I I was just saying, when you come to Christ, we come in a selfish mode Mm. because all we want is what he can give to us. But we fail to realize, and that goes with the relationship um, part, Mm. that you have to give to him, Mm. that you have to want to get to know him without him always giving to us. That's why you got to have those aha moments with him. God said that those that diligently seek me should find me. And it, and it has to be a desire that you want to get to know him mm. for who he is, not so much of what he can do for you. That's good. That's right. You got to abide in him, and his word has to abide in you. you. And you got to learn the things to ask God. If you, I'm going to tell you something. The more you learn the voice of God, the more yeses you'll get out of what you're asking because your will will become what he desires for you. 
and the things that he desired for you, he's not going to hold back from you. Mm -hmm. So when you're walking in God because you learn to obey him and his word is in you and I and the Father shall come and abide within you. Remember we talked about that? That the word said, if you if my word abide in you, you abide in me, that I and my Father will come and, 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 and live within you. Mm -hmm. But also the Holy Spirit has to already be there. So God is talking about the Trinity. He's talking about the Trinity coming and residing within you. You are the temple of God. Mm -hmm. And so you, cause you cannot obey God without the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in the first place. Right. So in first John says, Go ahead, buddy. these things I have written to you who believe in the name of the son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life mm -hmm. and that you may continue to believe in the name of the son of God. Now, this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything <laughs> according to his will, yes. according to his what? Come on. He hears us. According to his what? According to his will. And what is God's will? He hears us. What is God's will? God's will is for us to abide in his mm -hmm. word mm -hmm. and for his word to abide <laughs> in us. That's God's will. According to God's will, we, we, God works out all things according to those who love him. Mm -hmm. And God has, he has a plan for us. Mm -hmm. God has a plan for you. Remember we was reading Jeremiah 29? I would say, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for your well-being and not for your evil in order to give you a what? Future and to give you hope. Mm. Amen. Amen. That's God. That's God. That's how God is. That's how awesome God is. God is an awesome God. But guys, I'm going to tell you something. If you truly want the things that you want when you want those things, mm -hmm. then learn how to obey God because here's the thing. If God say cast all your worries upon him because he cares for you, then why not catch all your worries upon him, him because he cares for you? Mm. If God said, give no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow he'll thoughts of itself its own trouble, then why bring your problems of today from tomorrow mm. that haven't even gotten here yet? Now you're compiling your problems with things of tomorrow that may not even happen. That's good. So you carry yourself through something that you only have to carry yourself through. You know, he said, humble yourself under your, his mighty hand that he may exhort you at your proper time. Mm -hmm. So here you is going out of your way. you trying all these scams, get rich, fast scams and stuff and all this and that. When God had already told you what you need to do. Amen. He said, humble yourself under his mighty hand that you will be exhorted in season. You will be exhorted. Be led. You know, be led. Don't try. You can't lead God. God is not going to bend over backwards for you. I don't mm. care who you are. I don't care who you ain't. God does not bend over backwards for nobody. We have to meet God's expectations. Amen. Amen. So we're letting God's voice. I want to read Ephesians 6.10. Ephesians, you guys be writing these scriptures down. You can read these scriptures all you want. Oh, Paul was saying something like we was talking about, um, uh, we was talking about, um, uh, doing something without being set by the Holy Spirit. Mm. He put me in a mind when the scripture said, when you go to a church, don't sit in front of the church. He used the word president. You know, you're not important. You walk into an area and all of a sudden you want to take the main seat and then mm. you get embarrassed because it, they, the first thing they want to say, who are you? In front of everybody else, just like in church. And it's scriptural. It says you come in a church, sit in the back of the church. If you had never been there before, introduce who you are mm. and then wait until you're invited. Amen. Amen. Don't oh, try and bombard, you know, uh, something that is not yours. You know, it's not yours. You know, wait until it, wait until it becomes yours. Amen. Amen. So, yeah, uh, uh, Brother Fo, uh thanks for that comment. That's why it says, seek first the kingdom of God oh, and his oh, righteousness. Man then all things will be added to you. He will give you the desires of your heart mm. because Amen. now your heart is towards him instead, instead of yourself. That's, good. That's, That's good. God's will. Amen. That's God's will. Ephesians Amen. 6. I want to read Ephesians 6.10. Ephesians 6.10 we uh, finally be strong in the Lord and in his 
mighty power. Mm -hmm. Put on the full armor, I'm keep reading, mm -hmm. of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme. Mm -hmm. Now, we are still learning how to listen to God's voice. Amen. Y'all mm -hmm. forgive me, that's all um, people calling. That's that's how Satan interrupts things, y'all. You know, sometimes Satan uses us as weapons even when we don't realize that we're being used as a weapon. You know that? Mm -hmm. He does. Uh, I'll, I'll be sitting here talking to Moses about something that's very important in God, and I got sidetracked because of that, and then my wife will call me. And she don't even realize that she's being used by Satan to break up something. Oh, Lord. You know, because she has something important that she wants to say. And I'm like, I don't want to stop this conversation with Moses because if I do, he's going to lose thought about what we are trying to talk mm. about. So, yeah, Satan can use you in a kind of way, but you, me, I'm responsible to realize that. Okay, that's my wife calling, but my wife's got to wait. Mm. You know, I want to call her back. I love her. God bless her. But right now, I have something more important that I'm doing. Now, how can you say mm. that something is more important than your wife? Okay. I'm going to say this, then we're going to close. Because we know that listening to God's voice is reading his word. And God said, put on the full armor of God. So I want you guys to read chapter 6, verses 10 through verses 20. And you're going to read about the full armor of God. Because we're learning how to listen to God's voice. Amen. Ephesians but uh, uh, Ephesians 6, verses 10 through 20. And I want to go back to what I was saying. You guys got to help me because, like I say, sometimes I lose my train of thought. My wife, if she called, it's my responsibility to know. Okay, I love her. You know, I'm going to call her back, but right now I'm talking about something else. Mm -hmm. Now, my thought was this. My thought was that when, and, and I, I'm, I, I must be tired. Yeah, I must be tired, guys. But the thing is this. I love God. Mm -hmm. Now, listen to this all the way through. Because God say. In order to love him, you have to hate your mother, your father, your sister, your brother. Mm -hmm. Don't mean that you hated them out of a pure hatred. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hate my wife because I love God. Mm -hmm. I love God. I love my wife because God loves me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I hate the enemy more than I hate my wife because I love God. Mm -hmm. But because God loves me, I love my enemy. Now, I hate Moses more than I hate my wife. But because God loved me, I love Moses. But I hate the enemy more than I hate both of them, my wife and my brother in Christ or my sister in Christ. But I love the enemy because God loves me. So what I'm talking about, what you're talking about, I'm talking about priority. I'm talking about my wife shouldn't let me get between her and God. I'm talking about I shouldn't let my wife get between me and God. I shouldn't let Moses get between me and my wife. Mm. I shouldn't let the enemy get between me and my sister or my brother in Christ. Mm. Understood? Right? Is that good? Is that good? Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Uh, we want y'all to meet us here next week at the same time at 630 every Monday on WBND and listen to the word. Tabernacle Trinity Hall, the word, which come on at Sunday at 230. It's audio, guys. Mm -hmm. The word is audio. And um, they were just saying, we were just sitting here talking about how blessed we were with the word that was uh, preached and everything mm -hmm. else, the music and the prayer and the scripture reading that took place on last Sun, if Sunday. they missed it, they can go back to the shows tab and listen to it. If you got the app, you can always go back, go click on shows, look down for the um the banner or what it, whichever show you want to listen to, and click on that banner, and you see everything under that banner archive in case you missed a show. But there, everything is there is audio. If you have Facebook. And your friends got Facebook, introduce them to the Facebook guys because it's a lot of things happening at WBND Radio Amen. where our favorite lot of the bills where we have the opportunity to say to you that you are so beautiful. beautiful. God bless. Bye bye. Tell your neighbor. You're listening to the number one internet radio station on the planet. WBND. WBND. This is gospel music 24-7. Become the worship 